speak without analysis for just a second. I think this reaffirms what my purpose here is with all of you. It's to tell stories. It might not always be a story you're interested in. It might not even be destiny every time. I don't know what the future holds. But I think if this last 10 years has given me something, it is a purpose. So, let's talk a little bit about how that purpose is going to look. It's time to answer the inevitable questions that people have been throwing at me on social media and just asserting generally through their own assumptions for a while now. Even though I've said a few things in a few videos lately, I figured it was time to go ahead and make a proper video addressing this generally. And the questions, of course, are, Hey Bife, will you be going and doing 40k law now? Or are you sticking with Destiny? It's one or the other, surely it must be. And the answer is... Yes? Let me explain a bit. The short version is I'm going to expand into doing more than just Destiny, but that also doesn't mean Destiny content is going to stop. So, here's the long version. I've been covering this game for 11 years now. A solid third of my life has been dedicated to talking about the lore and story of this thing we call Destiny. The game's lore and a lexicon is in my brain whether I want it to be or not. A lot of you also subscribed to my channel originally because of my Destiny coverage. And so I think there's a solid point to be made that, no matter what, there is going to be at least some Destiny on the channel in the future. But the conditions of that are potentially going to change. You'll understand why as I talk more about this, but I should probably explain why it's not going to be just Destiny, and I think I need to go ahead and talk you through the entire process of that, and how I came to this point and this conclusion. At a certain point back in January of this year, I faced a similar question as to the one I face now. Basically, do I expand outwards and try to make something of the channel that includes more than just one game, or do I stick with only my one game, my main game of Destiny? At the time being, I was coming off of a big move, I knew I'd still have some seasonal stuff from Season of the Wish to sustain me, and I figured I'd write that out until the point that I needed to and then prepare to try and change things up. Then, April happened, and Into the Light dropped, and we saw the start of the best four months of Destiny that I think the community has ever had. We saw the game's population bounce back, we saw people getting involved in Pantheon, we saw people getting ready for the final shape, and momentum was really starting to build. The dynamics of the channel pulled me back and informed me that it wasn't time to pivot just yet. I also had a bit of a hope, perhaps a foolish one, but a hope that was sustained at the very least by some data and some potential. This was especially the case after the reveal of Prismatic. I hoped that we would see a quick pivot by the devs from one 10-year saga into another saga, maybe not 10 years worth of content, but at least enough to assure people that yes, there was a long-term future for this game, and any content that was surrounding it had a future too. Luke Smith even addressed people in the Final Shape showcase and immediately made it clear that after the Final Shape, we would see something on the horizon. And then the launch of the Final Shape happened, and I released my 10-hour video summarizing the last 10 years of lore, a video that has gone on to receive just under 2 million views. In combination with all the other content that I released, that month of June, the Final Shape launch month, was one of the biggest months in my channel's history. If I'd taken a few less mental health days and been grinding non-stop on content, I would probably have eclipsed the launches of both The Witch Queen and Destiny 2 Vanilla, which remain some of the best times in my channel's history. In the month of June alone, I gained something close to 30,000 subscribers. It was one hell of a time on the channel. This all represented a lot of good groundwork for Destiny, and there was a lot of stuff that I could sit there and assess and say, yeah, this looks positive, as long as things continue to trend in this direction. And then two things happened that thoroughly killed the momentum and set Destiny back, and also as a result impacted the content that I produce. The first of them was the second round of layoffs at the end of July, that would have been bad enough all on its own, but the second thing was that Bungie took too long to start talking about Frontiers and what it was, and to drum up interest for it. In my mind, they also took too long to confirm the single most important detail, 
which was that there would indeed be another multi-year saga on the horizon for Destiny. That detail has been confirmed now, Frontiers is going to last us years, but the sad reality is that for some people it's far, far too late and it has created this problem with viewership now. People have voted with their feet, they're out the door. People have ended their attachment to this 10-year saga and have not jumped in for the second one. This represents a big problem. The sad reality is that it's reflected in my viewership. Destiny content on my channel started to get a quarter or even an eighth of the viewership that I would expect it to be getting at this point in time, and I think I know why that is. Putting it simply, people don't care about the lore of something if they're not going to be participating in it at any moment in the future. If you've actively made the decision to abandon Destiny, then why should you care about the lore or its future or the details of a universe you're not involved in? This has always been my yardstick for where the community is at, because at the end of the day my viewership has always been there and there's always been a flaw to it, a point below which it really just doesn't tend to dip. The flaw for me is a minimum number of viewers who I see staying around to watch all my lore content because they know that they want to be up to date on the game in every facet of it. We've now reached past that point. The flaw, for the first time ever, has dipped. And there's a few reasons for it. First of which is that Bungie's leadership has killed confidence in their own studio. And the second of which is that a second saga wasn't announced soon enough for people to go ahead and jump in and say, yes, I am going to stick around for this and I do still want to know more. The moment was missed. And at this point, I can see that impacted on the viewership of my channel. So, with those two points and how they have impacted me, I can see that there are fewer people around watching Destiny, and so I can't sit there and maintain a purely Destiny channel. Now, before we go any further, I do need to acknowledge, comebacks do happen in the gaming industry. Look at No Man's Sky, look at the Into the Light update in Destiny. Look at all sorts of things that now have a following that, when they were released, were decried as basically nothing worth telling any stories about. Comebacks in gaming happen, it's a fact. But Destiny is very long in the tooth at this moment, and it will take something monumental to gain back a massive number of players. There are, however, people that are still interested in seeing Destiny content that are subscribed to this channel, and for them, I'm still going to be there. Whenever big content releases, I will make stuff. But that is no longer the full picture, and it is why the idea of being a pure Destiny channel is no longer as viable as I thought it was. I was willing to take a gamble at the beginning of the year, especially while we still had content to tide us over. But the situation has now changed. This is why I decided that I would go ahead and play that clip at the beginning from the video that released just after Excision, a video in which I sat there and said that I would still probably be covering Destiny, but that more importantly, I wanted to be a storyteller. Your storyteller. But those two things are not bound together intrinsically, and the reality is that whilst I'll still be looking to cover Destiny, it does not have a monopoly on all the great stories out there that one might look to tell. This is part of the reason why I took my first big punt about a week ago and made a video on a totally different IP, Warhammer 40k. In particular, I did a video covering Space Marine 2 and an introduction to the lore as I thought players might need. An hour-long video on something that I've never covered before is one hell of a gamble to make, but it paid off. That video is currently the highest viewed and most liked video on the channel this month. The reception in the comments has also been incredibly positive, with a lot of people celebrating the fact that I'm breaking out and covering something different. This is not to sit there and say that I share that exact same sentiment. I'm certainly not discarding Destiny, and I don't have any glee over the idea of me deciding to cover something less. Destiny has been a comfortable home for 10 years, and I've been able to cover that content with a great degree of speed as well. I'm familiar with the systems of the game, I'm familiar with the universe, and if needs be, if some great development happens in the lore, I can explain it instantly. But Destiny, again, is not the only place where there are rich stories to tell, and 40k is a universe that is brimming with lore. 
In fact, I've already started writing another long video for 40k and Space Marine 2 that's stretching even longer to about two hours. Then again, that's what I get for trying to make a video about the Horus Heresy. Yes, chaos is the topic of the video and... Oh god, it's even a basic introduction, but it's also something that will take a long time, because that's just how rich the universe of 40k is. But here's the thing. 40k isn't the complete answer to any of this either. I saw some people claiming, for I don't know what reason other than probably their own assertions, that I had fully pivoted and was now a 40k YouTuber, and I had dropped Destiny entirely. And to be clear, neither of these things are completely true. I'll still be covering Destiny, but you can still definitely expect some 40k stuff. I'm no longer dedicated and shackled to a single IP. That is the direction that I have chosen. And frankly, I think that in spite of how much extra work it'll take, that's absolutely the right call. Because at the end of the day, I'm not someone who wants to sit and tell stories about Destiny or 40k about any particular universe at all. I just want to be able to tell stories. I certainly have to look to what the audience is saying and react to an extent, but if you're not enjoying content that I make, that's my problem. I need to adjust. My dream, however, is to get to the point where you're all so enraptured by the stuff that I'm saying, by the stories that I'm weaving together, that I'm able to sit there and share awesome stories from any IP, any universe, any franchise that I like. Any universe that has an amazing premise. Any story that has some great message at the end of it. Anything that I think is just cool. Anything that you guys might have a great degree of interest in in that moment. So, that's what I plan on doing. I did also want to say something else. This is not the first time I've been looking to explore other games and other franchises. In both a sponsored and non-sponsored capacity, I've covered content from other games before. Games like Warframe, Godfall, Dishonored, Anthem, Doom, and Monster Hunter World. All of them have seen the channel in the past. The difference is that those games were always in the back seat compared to my Destiny content. Now I want to take the approach that there is no back seat. There is only the focus at the time. Right now, that focus is squarely on Space Marine 2 and the universe of Warhammer 40k, but even with that focus, there are some bits and pieces that I'll want to pick up on every once in a while from other games, Destiny included. In a few weeks, I'll be coming back and seeing what's happening with Revenant, closer to October. Following on from that, at the very end of October and the beginning of November, I'll be jumping into Dragon Age Veilguard, and I'll see what I can do covering that. This is going to be the cadence of content on the channel from now on. I am still your lore master, but you can expect me to be coming to meet you where you are for other games as well. Whether that's Dune Awakening or Dragon Age, Mass Effect or something from 40k, Gears of War or Exodus, Monster Hunter Wilds or Doom the Dark Ages. I might also go back and explore some other worlds that have released in previous games, but which I think are worth covering and talking about because of the amazing stories within them. That means I might be exploring worlds that I've also never stepped into before but I know are renowned. Worlds like those found in FromSoft's games like Elden Ring and Bloodborne. Worlds like those found in Supergiants games like Hades or Transistor. I might even use some games as a jumping off point to talk about universes that are wider than any single game. Baldur's Gate 3 and the expansive universe of Dungeons and Dragons absolutely comes to mind, but so do other things like Alien Isolation and the lore of the Alien franchise generally. Hell, I might even take time to explore even stranger lore out there if people are interested and if there is enough of a positive response. In particular, lore from strange parts of the internet such as the SCP Foundation comes to mind. The point is this, I want to find stories that all of you want to hear. You'll see some more changes over the next few months on the channel that should reflect that. And I won't lie, it is going to require a lot of work on my end. I need to re-engage with how I make shorts content. I need to sit there and try and figure out how I'm going to stream, and yes, I need to figure out what I'm going to do as far as the content cadence going forward is concerned, with one game that people previously know as my main game, and other IPs that I want to also cover with the same degree of depth. Things are not going to be perfectly smooth. 
I am bound to make mistakes along the way. This is something I've talked about before. I'm human, and as I've said before, knowledge is not a binary thing, knowledge is a journey. You will not simply go from a state of knowing nothing to knowing it. You need to go ahead and have your stumbling moments along the way so that you can learn. The path forward for me is like this though, that much I do know. It still involves some destiny. The game is in my heart, but a body needs more than a heart alone to sustain it. So I'm going to take my time, rework my content, continue to release the content that I know you all love, and become a better lore master for all of you. We've already taken the first steps. I'm terrified, but also excited to take the next ones with all of you. And I hope that you're looking forward to this too. If you are, please, let me know a game you want me to cover down below. Let me know an IP or a franchise that you want to hear about. It could be anything. But if you want to hear stories from me, I am all the more willing to tell them. And, as per usual, know that your viewership, as always, is quite enough for me. This bit doesn't change, though. Horodasia Adastra. I'll see you, Starside. <laughs>